G'day citizens, I'm Execute, welcome to the Informers, joined today again by my partner in crime, Mr. Agrid, how you doing? Old man Hurst himself. Now, now, Execute, you should, you should know that. Uh, I, I, I should just... like to come along when the luxury vehicle being, being uh, did talked you, about. Did you just say, you shoot? Yeah. <laughs> No, you should. You should. You should. You should know. <laughs> you should shoot me. Yeah, I should. Anyway. Now, now, actually, yeah, I, I never, I never count on violence. Uh, you know, mm. pe people who sign those contracts should should just adhere to, to what they're signed to. Mm. Now, no old man hasn't go away. All right. So we're going to be doing our buyer's guide for the X1 series of bikes. Uh, long time coming. Six years mm. now, for uh, people waited for this one. Now, too long didn't watch. Yep. It's a vehicle. Yep. Don't buy it. Yeah, don't buy. Um, the long story though is there's a lot of little nuanced details on these. Like, mm. um, you know, the velocity gets these really cool fins and a different engine layout to the other two, if you can see real yep. quick. So it actually, you know, going into that racing aesthetic where they kind of get an upgrade. Yeah. Um and and those fins give this a wind kill, and we all know yep. wind kills make it go faster. So mm. I did put the blue skin on the racing one. I do really like the metallic finish it gives it. Um, I prefer it over the yellow one. I do want to know if anyone's... I didn't actually look myself, but there's a, there was a scarlet skin uh, sold with mm. them when they were in uh, concept. I want to know if it's in-game. So if you're in... It, let me know in the comments below if you've actually got a... And maybe someone... Po we can post a photo of it to show everyone else. Um, yeah, I haven't checked, so I couldn't... Yeah. What I did like about that blue skin, though, is mm -hmm. when you get inside, the blue skin oh, actually yeah. goes onto the interior of the ship as well, and onto the interior side of it. So, just so the body quick. there, and even and even the, the the lip there. So that that skin coloring goes all the way through, and I did like that. Yeah. Um, Which is makes so, it yeah, a unique thing uh, to to vehicles for sure. You might as well power it on and show the kill. Oh, well. since it's since it's open. If you'd said half an hour, early, yeah. half an hour, half a second earlier, half an hour, gee, with the well, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get on him in a minute and go for a fly. We'll, go, we'll go in that one specifically. But um, yeah, the gun thing for me is a bit weird. I was saying to Agra before, like this one is extra longer, and why would you want a cannon? And why would they put it on anyway? Because we're just going to change yeah. it over. What you don't want a slow firing gun on a vehicle, like it just. And you've only got one and, gun. And you don't want to be timing the shots, do you? So. No, and I think that shows that that's why the Force has the Bulldog repeater rather than the yeah. cannon. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I think me and Arab also do both talked about it would have been really cool if there was closed cabs, but obviously for design mm. reasons, they have not done that. Um, I will say, as someone that a lot of people think hate Origin, I really do like the look of them. They are, mm. they're very sleek. There is something really, um, what's that movie? Oblivion. You, ever, you remember Oblivion, our grid, where with the helicopter thing that Tom Cruise is in and they, yep. yeah, it, yep. it kind of reminds me of the, it's not the same as the bike in a building because obviously that had tires, yep. but it reminds me of a hover bike from Oblivion. So yeah, it does yeah. have that kind of bike, bike vibe from it. Yeah. Now, when you look at the components for these, all three of them have exactly the same components apart from the force, which has an additional shield. Yeah. Um, I a shield. Um, so of the three, it is the only one for shield. Yeah. Uh, by and all the components, whether it's shield, mm. um, power plant, or coolers, are all size zero, so vehicle size, and they're civilian grade C um, across the board. Um, and the only other thing that stands out is the weapon. The force has the bulldog repeater, a single bulldog repeater. Mm. The um, X1 has the uh, laser cannon and the Velocity has no weapon mm. but has um, the fins and can go faster. So, Yeah. I almost thought that was personal storage there for a second. The mm. there, there is personal storage. It's on the... you got to get in to use it, though, but it's, yeah, it's in the middle in there. Yep. So yeah, it's definitely interesting. I do find this interesting though. Like they've actually like if I open the canopy again, mm. it knows to close all the stuff. I thought that was kind of cool. Mm. Um, but yeah, there is a, a personal storage here as well. If I can get it to open, there you go. So yeah, it does have personal storage. But That's yeah, a very small personal storage section, isn't it? Yeah. 
Um, again, like we said, Algrid, if you could have put your helmet, like, took your helmet off and put your helmet back on, it would have removed any reason yeah. for them not to have a closed cab in my book. Um, and a lot of bikes yeah. do have that kind of helmet storage. Yeah, it would have... It... Uh, I think it would have just given it a nice, mm. a nice, made it a nice different type of bike. Um, I think, and to say bikes don't have that type of thing, I go back to the Messerschmitt, Messerschmitt mm. uh, bike, which had a closed canopy. Mm. So it's not unheard of, and it would, but it would have given uh, the X1 bad advantage of being enclosed and protected from mm. uh, in adverse environments. But hey, it is what it is. So there's the wing keel. You can see it's obviously going to make it go faster. It's a little bit low at the moment. Hang on. Yep. And the lower you should... go, the faster you go. Yeah, but the other thing we found is the lower you go, the more rocks you hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, I'm, the and last time Execute went low and fast. And I just exploded. In five seconds, he found a rock yeah. and blew up. So, so I don't want to do that this time if I can help it. Yeah, it does feel slower, but uh, I think that's just, um, I'd imagine our grid, now I'm not confirming here or denying anything here, mm. but imagine this being a new vehicle. It's had more of a pass than the other hover bikes have had, yeah. kind of much like what happened with um, knowing, knowing the newer stuff is coming online. This should yeah. hopefully be at a bit, or they've dirty done it and it's going to get one very soon because we know yeah, they're about, about to do that. So, yeah. Um, but even there, like, I, I know I'm only wearing a light helmet here, but um, when, when we looked at this before, um, you, I was actually in it with a he heavy helmet, and it would still cover my head if you kept sweeping it up um, yeah. to, to go under there. So, yeah, just something I would have liked to see. It would have been a nice little thing. M made the Origin much like the G12. Uh, would You know, our Origin would have had that thing where, yeah, we've got closed cabs because we care about our people type of thing. Um, and it yeah. would have been nice. That's a nice yeah, little uh, extra. It would have been a nice little tip of the hat, wouldn't it? it? Well, it also means we might get another bike from another manufacturer that does that eventually. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Now, we've got a Pisces here. Why have we got a Pisces here, X? Um, because we actually found that this thing does actually fit in the back. Um, and we, mm. got it, we got it in and we got it closed and we were able to fly off with it on. And so I thought I might try and do this again and not explode. Uh, we'll try. Now, I, I reckon it might be easy to get the X1 version in. Yeah, well, I think the, the X1 certainly because... Oh, you mean the... Well, I'm, the I'm, I'm trying to work one. out what's better, the, the gun or the, the fins. Now, we had more room. Oh, yeah. I was going to do the Force. Put the Force. We yeah. did get the Force in. Who's the Force? And, and it was a fairly close fit, mm. but we figured we could have got it forward a little bit more than we did. Yeah. So my um, thinking is... Um, longer is better than um, the extra fins. Wider, yeah. Yeah. I do wish I'd turned the engines off in that thing. I thought I had, but clearly I did not. Welcome. Yeah. So let's just. Whoop. I think the last time I got out, I got it popped me through the roof. So we'll see what happens this time. Not through the roof. Uh, but it mm. took the, sh the ship taken off. Okay. Not oh, good. Not good. It did work last time, but it's clearly not good. It did work way. last time. This time it just sunk through the bottom of the, um, the ship. So, but yeah. it does actually fit. Yeah. So let me, let us know in the comments below um, how <laughs> it worked out for you. That clearly didn't work out for me and I got the best, but um, yep. yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be an interesting little bike. Um, you know, I, I, mm. I thought it was a bit weird how with the extra gun on it, it actually looks too long for the, the ramp, uh, not the ramp, the elevator on the 400i. It's obviously designed for the 400i. I think it'll add a lot of functionality to the 400i. And it's no longer included in the price of the 400i. They've, they've, they've separated it, which I found kind of interesting as well. I um, didn't think it was ever included with the 400i. Probably would have been it, nice it had, it had, to have it included it with the, the 400i then. If that's the case, then it would have yeah. been nice to have it with the 400i. It, it would have been nice to have it. They had mm. the the garage for it, but it was never never included mm. in the price, uh, which I always thought, you know, if it was meant to be paired with a 400i, mm. then make it a snub like you do others. But, yeah. hey, 
what would you like to hear from people below in the comments Sagrid? is it just yeah. another bike is it a waste of time it's, for me yeah, i think it's it, a i think it's great addition to the game but it's an earning game for me obviously and yourself i know that as well but yeah well you know like i do have them because they are in a pack but if i if you're someone who is trying to stretch your dollar mm. these are certainly not something that you're buying now yeah. not with cash you're buying the the big ticket items and you're earning those in game they are mm. if you can earn a a cutlass black in a month yeah then these things are going to be earned in hours yeah, you know it's like it's like you know earning a a, a rock for seventy thousand uec I, I would definitely expect them to be below that so you know knowing what the dragonfly is and things like that mm. so these are these are just something that I'll, i think event you know people own multiples of all bikes you know um, yeah. in different places around the place because that's what they're for so yeah and they're yeah. cheap to recall to your location. Like it takes like yeah. literally three seconds to claim one. They're pretty damn quick. So again, I expect everyone to eventually own own one of every bike in game. Yeah, just you because are... you can just dump them, drive them, mainly... increase your speed of walking. You know, I... yeah, mainly used to fund the game. And and we will need land vehicles. And again, they will get more into their niche before. And mm. as they talked about, we now possibly be able to start using more land vehicles in yeah. the um upcoming raids and stuff so the um distribution centers and things like that so yeah, yeah. so what do you no, want to hear no, from no. people in the comments Sagrid? so what do you think of the bike mm. how how do you see the value of it why have a cannon on an mm. x1 yeah um wouldn't a distortion repeaters be better because mm. as, as you were saying before we were recording mm. because they'd have a better thing of shutting down um other vehicles when you've got so limited firepower yeah. Yeah, I, was, um, I was saying to Agra before, because they've removed the shields from them now and the Force is the only one that's got a shield out of all hover bikes, I actually start to think that the, um, I think they're called NX something, but the, these yeah. distortion ones that are kind of like half distortion, half what damage, and I think that's will be where, where bikes will end up going. Yeah. Because if you're fighting another bike, you can disable it and continue to keep damaging it and it just can't do anything. So distortions might be become a really cool thing on vehicles. And again, all, all of a sudden, if you're going in with the force and you've got a distortion on it and you're shooting a tank, you just keep disabling it so something else can kill it. It makes a lot of sense to me, but we'll see. Let us know your thoughts on, on the distortions. Um, what paints do you like on it? And if you've got a, a picture of the one with the scarlet on it, uh, link it below so other people can have a look. I might even copy it and chuck it up on the community tab so everyone can see it as well. With that, then, he's been Agrid. He's been Execute. See you, citizens. Take care.